Hello, welcome back. So, okay, we're recording. All right. So, this is what you're looking at here is an Xbox One, Xbox One, not 360 motherboard. Now, this or this Xbox One does turn on, but it doesn't show anything on the screen itself. So, I'm gonna change the thermal base. Now, how you will fix that usually? If if the Xbox One turns on but there's no picture, usually that means the, this output, this HDMI output that goes to the TV, is messed up, and you usually have to change it. Unfortunately, I looked at this port very thoroughly, and there's no damage to it like at all. I can't see any physical damage. So what you could do then is. It might be just a hard drive then. But since I'm this far, I'm just going to take the X clamp off and change the thermal paste. I'll show you guys how to do this. Now, it's very similar to a 360. I mean, it's like exactly the same way a 360 will do it. In, don't damage it. What I'm doing here is using small flathead screwdrivers and working my way up to bigger ones. The small ones are just to loosen it up. And the bigger ones are to get it out. Okay. And good. Very easy, very simple. Get the comp off. Now the heat sink has nothing to hold on to it. So let's right on. Boom. There's the fan and the heat sink. Let this light up. There it is. Got the best camera right now. Now this right here, wow, this little paste actually feels pretty dry. I mean, it's like pretty dry actually. Not really wet. It's a little sticky. Maybe it does. Maybe it didn't need changing. One second. Let me get the everything else. way easier than just using alcohol and other stuff. Hold on. All right. So I'm going to change the thermal paste because this thing looks like it ain't changing anyways. That thermal paste is dry. <clears throat> oh yeah, that stuff is dry. None of it is getting on my hand at all. It's like very dry. Shouldn't be that dry. Like I said, uh, there was no picture coming up because usually it will be the HDMI output, like I said. But this HDMI output was fine. I mean, it was perfectly fine. I couldn't see. I, I literally. Couldn't see anything wrong with it. This stuff I'm using right here is meant to remove uh, thermal paste from an Xbox 360, but they're pretty much the same. They use pretty much the same, same thermal paste. It's just the stuff that removes it. <coughs> So, 
if you want to get any of the stuff that I have, I got it off eBay. It's called Xbox uh, 360 Repair Kit. I was saying this is an Xbox One. Why do I get 360 Repair Kit? Because surprisingly, a lot of the stuff you get is meant to use on the Xbox One. They do have Xbox One Repair Kits. But they're not always the same. Yeah, the thumb paste should not be that dry. What you gotta do is get these clean, like really clean. <clears throat> and this stuff is actually very useful. This is a cleaner you get. I got in two of them actually. Okay. I'm gonna put it down. Get all that crap off it. I'm gonna work on a heat sink. So, this isn't usually a problem if uh, the Xbox One isn't turning, like, it's not showing a picture. It's usually not the problem. The only reason I'm doing it now is because I see there is that thermal paste did need changing. And the HDMI output looks fine. I mean I cannot see any damage to it at all. It looks like that put that stuff on pretty thick. So what I'm going to do is stop recording for right now and come back when I'm going to put the new thermal paste on because this stuff's really thick in there. And see if we get this thing to show up or check. See you next time.